I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For our meditation today let's turn to Psalms 18 verses 29 to 45. For by thee I have run through a troop and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord or who is a rock save our God It is God that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by mine arms Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand hath holden me up and thy gentleness hath made me great Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued mine enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise, they are fallen under my feet. But Thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle, Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies that I might destroy them that hate me they cried but there was none to save them even unto the lord but he answered them not then did i beat them small as the dust before the wind i did cast them out as the dirt in the streets thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people and thou hast made me the head of the heathen a people whom i have not known shall serve me As soon as they hear of me they shall obey me the strangers shall submit themselves unto me the strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places Here again we see the praises that flows from the heart of King David while he reminisces on the mighty deliverances that he had received through the Lord David the servant of God has nothing to boast about his abilities or mighty deeds but his lips are filled with praises of the lord his master who is the strength of his life he says in verse 29 for by thee i have run through a troop and by my god have i leaped over a wall it is because of the lord that he has run through the troop or defeated the enemies that had surrounded him and has leaped over the wall or overcome all the hindrances that came in his life's journey He knows for sure that the ways of the Lord are perfect. God who is the Lord of his life will never commit any mistakes. That is why he was at peace even while he was wandering in the wilderness, as he knows that the Lord whom he trusted does everything for his good. This morning do we have the same trust in our Lord into whose hands we have committed our life. Over and over has his words proven to be true in David's life and in our life also is he the good shepherd who watches over us day and night can you feel that peace and comfort in your soul which springs from that sincere trust in the lord can we sing with david or who is god save the lord or who is a rock save our god it is the lord who girdeth me with strength and makes my way perfect But remember making our way perfect does not mean that the Lord will always carry me upon his shoulders and I will have a merry ride in this journey and I'll be seated on the throne the moment I reach heaven The psalmist says he maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms And the Lord makes my feet strong he wants me to climb every mountain before me with ease and enjoy the blessedness of the high places But we want God to remove every mountains that are before us so that we may have a easy Christian life that is full of blessings The Lord teaches our hands to war in his own perfect ways so that our hands may be strong enough to break even a bow of steel Remember we have a high calling before us as we are chosen for a life with God for eternity God uses many instances and incidents in this life to make us strong and and to learn many things that will be useful for us in eternity 
when david has to deal with the enemies that stood against him physically we the chosen ones have to stand firm against the powers of darkness and at the same time the enemy within us the flesh that is still within us and emerge strong and victorious in the lord heaven is waiting for some overcomers the bride who has grown to the fullness of christ how much more these words of the psalmist is true for us as it says thou has also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand hath holden me up and thy gentleness hath made me great our feet did not slip in this journey of struggles and afflictions as the lord has enlarged the steps under our feet so that we may stand firm in him in all the battles of our life it is the lord who has girded us with strength and subdued the enemy that rose against us let us humble ourselves before the lord and be closer to him and abide in his strength each moment so that we may prove ourselves as kings overcomers and victorious in christ in this evil world that is ruled by satan and sin through our lives let the fear of holy god may fall upon those who are around us so that we may know the only true god the savior of their lives let god help each one of us to be true witnesses of christ in this small life upon this earth let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time and thank you for your precious word that comforts us that guides us in each step of our life thank you lord for the ways that you have led us as we face one more day father help us to trust you and help us to climb all the mountains and obstacles that are before us because you are there with us and everything that happens is for our good you are faithful and you love us help us to love you and help us to grow to the fullness of Christ and may others see Christ in and through us that's all that we desire for this day may your name be glorified thank you for hearing our prayers in jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless each one of us our lord is coming very soon maranatha